Hi, Roxana. Buenas noches. Hi, Charlie. Solo Buenas por noches, curiosidad y para, y para tranquilidad de mi existencia, se acaban de conectar. Ahorita acaban de ingresar. Eh, sí, Charlie, yo ahorita. <risa> Así es como que le di clic. <risa> es que yo ingresé Ajá. Y, solo yo estaba, y solo yo estaba y me volví a equivocar. Hasta le saqué una captura de no me vuelva a pasar. Y cambié. Y luego verifiqué. Entonces, por eso le pregunto a ver si yo me había equivocado o ustedes no habían entrado. Yo acabo, acabo de entrar así como que ahorita. A poner a yo. No, no, hoy no fue usted. All right. Hola, señorita. Hola. Nicole. Nicole. Hi, Nicole. How are you? Very good. Charlie, ¿cuántos Hello. años tiene la nena? ¿Cuántos años tenés? Five, wow. <ríe> Roxana, yo le he extrañado mucho, Roxana. Gracias. Pero me alegra tenerla de vuelta. <ríe> Gracias. Very nice. Chiqui, ¿cómo estuvo el día, Chiqui? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. It was a, a long day. Yeah. It's okay. It's weekend. It's almost weekend. I know. I know. That's something that we need to be very happy about. I'm yeah. actually very happy. <laughs> yes. Yeah, very good. It's been raining a lot, huh? Yes. All day? Yeah. Yeah, all day. All day. Actually, since last night, it hasn't stopped raining by my house since last night. It's been raining, 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 and more rain. Yes. Okay. Estaba leyendo un mensaje de Edith y de Frank. Okay, y también María José. Very good. Okay, guys, very nice. So, Jenny, hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Jenny. How are you? How was your day today? Fine. Very good this day. Excellent. I'm very happy to hear. Yeah. Excellent. And you're home. All right. So that's good because sometimes you are on the way home. <laughs> Very good, guys. Let me just get everything ready here and going so we can start. A uh, Roxana, hoy le cuento que eh, oficialmente in, eh, empezamos la unidad 2 de su módulo 3. All right. Entonces, vamos ya. Acuérdese que como empezamos viernes, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, ayer se terminó la unidad 1. All right. Pero ya hoy iniciamos unit 3. All right, so that's what we, I mean, unit three, unit two, <laughs> me adelante una. Unit two, hoy module three. Hoy hice three. mis, todas las ¿Vale? tareas. Excelente. Hoy hice Gracias. todas las tareas. Me bueno. costó bastante. Sí, me imagino. Chiqui, ¿cómo va usted con la plataforma? Súper bien. Done. Excellent. And Jenny and Charlie. Exactamente, ¿hasta qué tarea tenemos que tener? Hasta las cinco. Ah, okay, ya pues sí, done. Excellent, very nice. Solo déjeme ver algo aquí. Sabe que creo que he afligido, oh, no, 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 no. Iba a decir algo, pero no, ya me di cuenta que no. <laughs> All right, guys, very good. So let's go back here. Es que iba a decir que había afligido a Miss Mari que... Y vamos a empezar el, el, el pasado simple, pero de hecho sí lo vamos a empezar. All right, so ya va a entrar por ahí. All right, guys, so today we're going to begin out unit two. All right, uh, let's see. Jenny, can you please read? I will be able to. I will be able to exchange information about the company's ex expertise. Expertise. Expertise, uh, expertise uh -huh. industrial classification, and where it operates. Ah, very nice. All right. So today we're going to be able to exchange information to give information about the company's expertise 
Expertise means the experience of the company, all right? Uh, industrial classification and where it operates or where it works. Uh, let me see. Uh, Cheeky, do you attend seminars at work from the school? Do you have to go to seminars or workshops sometimes, Cheeky? Yeah, so sometimes. All right. And what kind of workshops do you receive when you have to go? Since, um, I'm sorry, um, about, I don't know, how, how would I say? <laughs> okay. About, <clears throat> I don't know, it's InstaForb too, but ah. we talk about time and, and the, no sé, algo del, del manejo del tiempo y cosas así. Okay. And, All right, like uh, time management. Yeah. Yeah, that's management. Ah, interesting. All right, very good. Now, Jenny, do you have to go to workshops or meetings sometimes from work? Yes. Yeah. All right. What kind of workshops do you attend or seminars? But, um, but about the Santillana. Ah. The platform, yes. Santillana All right. Platform, and in the conference for the, I remember this conference we asked for use that different um, platform, but uh, the experience for the class, uh, but las clases sean animadas, no sé cómo es. All right, okay, okay, very good. Like fun classes, animated classes. All right, very good, nice, thank you. All right, so sometimes we have to go to seminars or we have to go to workshops, okay? So that's something that we just kind of like wanted to talk about that. Very good, thank you. Um, Charlie? In, yes, your, in your case, Charlie, do you attend workshops or seminars sometimes or not really, or yeah? Uh, I remember one uh, when Eh, cuando, llegué, cuando tuvimos una sobre, sobre capacitación de incendios. Ah, eh, about eh, fires. Three, three years ago. Ok. All right, very all, good. All, 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 the, uh, all, all, all the college, oh no, all the, all the, the school. school. Ok, all right, all ok. All right, very good. Now, do you guys like to go to seminars and workshops or not very much? Do you like them sometimes? Yes, I like. Yeah, okay. All right, very good, interesting. Very good, guys. Okay, so let's go. Uh, we're gonna go back to the book. All right, so we're gonna go back to the book right now. The Maris va and the Maris here, Ede and Jasmine. Hello, guys. How are you? Hello. Hi. Hi, Jas. Hi, Hi Ede. Hi. ¿Cómo va la nena? Dormida ahorita. Yes. Dice que nos va a dejar recibir la clase, eso espero. Ah, okay. That's nice. Very good. Yes. Very Apurémonos nice. entonces. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, entonces, en esta, eh, en esta vez, vamos a ver esto de acá, page 19. All right, let's just talk about this right now, guys. It says Rick and Jack. All right, my name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you, too. I'm Jack. I work for Inex Inc. Incorporated. Um, what does Inex Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging company. Oh, I see. Does Enex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. All right, entonces tenemos dos palabras aquí claves. Una es branch o branches y la otra es headquarters. Do we understand what branch is? Do we know what branch is, guys? Marcas. No, oh, ese es brand. Ese sería brand. Excuse me, Chiqui. Sucursales. Sucursales, muy bien. Entonces, Ed, creo que me dijo, ese sería brand 
con D, este es branch, con CH, all right? Pero sí se parece, all right? Okay, okay. Very good. Entonces, cuando hablamos de branch o branches, hablamos de sucursales, ¿ok? Eh, en el caso de los bancos, por ejemplo, banks, they have many branches, stores, they have many branches, supermarkets, all right? What about the school? Nuevo Pacto Christian School, does it have a branch or not? There's only one school. Only, only one. one. All right. Okay, very good. Yes. Okay. Hi, Laurita. Hi, Laurita. Very nice to see you in class. All right. And Edith, Lorena is with us too. Hi, Edith. Very good. Okay. So, branches sería la... Eh, la... Se me fue la palabra, chicos. Sucursales. Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's Friday. All right, branches. Y headquarters sería la, eh, cuando usted dice la oficina central. All right, eso casa sería matriz. headquarters. ¿Perdón? Casa matriz sería como sí, una casa también, matriz. también como una casa matriz. All right, o las oficinas centrales podrían ser también. So, headquarters oh. and branches. All right, so we have that here. A ver, Charlie. Eh, lega, regáleme la lectura de Rick y Ed, regáleme la, la lectura de Jack, please. Ok. Ok, Miss. Uh, my name is Rick. Nice to meet you, too. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc. do you do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Packaging companies. Oh, uh -huh. oh I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are where are the headquarters? They're in Panama. All right, very good. Thank you. All right, very good. Jasmine, aprovechando. Uh, you're going to be Rick and Roxana. You're going to be Jack. Okay. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Jax. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? We make we make factory hardware boxes for packaging companies. Excellent, Roxana. Very good. Oh, I see. That index have many branches. Uh -huh, branches, see. Eh? Yes, he, he does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are they? I don't say that. Ah, the headquarters, Jasmine. Headquarters. Headquarters. Uh -huh. Headquarters. 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 Uh -huh. Headquarters. in Panama. Excellent. Very good. Okay, hagamos una lectura más. Veamos, Jenny, can you please be Rick? And let me see here. Um, Laurita, can you please be Jack? My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Sorry. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard, cardboard boxes for packaging company. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. 
And where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. Excellent, very good. All right, guys, very nice. Okay, so here we know like, hi, nice to meet you, all that. We know that already. We manufacture, all right? Manufacture is a verb. All right, do you know what that means? Sabemos que quiere decir manufacture. See, sí. all right, like create, we make, yes, we produce. We produce um, cardboard boxes, all right? Cuando decimos cardboard boxes, do we understand what that means? Do we know what cardboard boxes are? Cajas de cartón. Exacto, all right. Para empresas de qué? De paquetería. De empaque, all right, very good. Yeah. All right, very nice. Okay, ya, ya vimos lo que era branches, all right? Okay, very nice. Let's see. Um, Chiqui, can you read the definition of headquarters, please? Headquarters, the place where a company or organization has its main offices. Excellent, very good. And, Damari, can you read where it says branch? Branch, a shop or office representing a large company or organization in a particular area. Area, in a particular area, all right? So that is a branch and that is a headquarter, all right? Now, what I want you to do, o sabe que ahorita déjeme tomar la, la primera asistencia y luego hacemos el ejercicio number three, all right? Very good. Let me see here. Um, we have my attendance list. Very good. Yeah. All right, let's see. Ada Carolina Campos Luda de Ruano. Adilio Hernandez Polanco. Arely del Carmen Cortez de Peña. Present. Carlos Mauricio Cabrera Moreno. Present. Cristian Alberto Mobel Cantor. Present. Edgar Edenilson Meléndez Rivera. Present. Edith Lorena Martínez de Sandoval. Thank you, Edith. A Ercilia, a Ercilia Damari Quinteros Alvarado. Present. Francisco Antonio Renderos. Gloria Dayana Álvarez de Morales. Present. Thank you, Gloria Maribel Mazariego de Morales. Jenny Marisol Escobar Hernández. Present. Catherine Michelle Mejía Hernández. Present. Thank you, Catherine. Laura Noemí Rivas Rivas. Present. María José Alfaro de Hernández. Roxana Elizabeth Alcántara de Roldán. Present. Thank you, Roxana. Jasmine Jamilet Pacheco de Meléndez. Present. Thank you. And Yolanda Beatriz Angulo de Pielman. Very good, guys. All right, so we're still missing six people in class. All right, let's go back here then. Let's go back to our book and I want us to work on this. It says, number three, what two questions would you ask Rick to continue the conversation? Practice the expanded conversation with a partner. Vamos a hacer esta primera parte, all right? Read the conversation again. Pretendamos que ustedes, que todos ustedes son Jack, all right? ¿Qué más le preguntarían a, a Rick about the conversation? What else could you ask him? Pasemos en dos preguntas más. All right? Okay, guys? All right, thank you. Hi, Miss Mari, how are you? Good evening. Good evening. Ahorita le quito la gran X que le había puesto. I'm sorry, pero ya estoy aquí. Sí, yo sé, thank you. All right, Miss Mari, we're working on page 19 on exercise three. All right, so this is the exercise, exercise three. But to do this exercise, Miss Mari, you need to read the conversation. Okay, so read the conversation. You still pretender que es Jack. Y le va a hacer dos preguntas más a Rick, basados en lo que están hablando. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Simple present. Ahorita es. Preguntas normales en el presente simple. Ok. Thank you.
Todos somos Rick, right? O somos Jack. Jack, eh, everybody's Jack, because you're you're asking Rick. Solo que Rick es el que pregunta. Jack es el que trabaja en Inex. All right, yeah, you're right. Um, according to the instruction, it says, what two questions would you ask Rick to continue the conversation? Okay. Um, but it, it makes sense what you're saying, though. So, oh, yeah. Bueno, entonces, ¿sabes qué? Cambiémosle, no, no, no seamos Jack, seamos Rick. Y preguntémosle a Jack dos cosas. Jiki tiene razón. La instrucción aquí está como, uh -huh. so it should be Jack, okay? Okay, thank you. Let me know when you guys finish, okay? So I wanna hear some of the questions. All right, let me see. Um, Charlie, do you have your questions ready, Charlie? Only one. Okay, let me let me hear your question, please. How many workers do you have? Oh, very good. Nice. How many workers do you have? O podríamos también preguntar how many workers are there in your company? Are there? Are there? Are very there. good. Yes. Very nice. Uh, very nice, um, Charlie. Uh, let me see, anybody else that has a question already, one or two questions that you want to share? I have one. Okay, very good, Chiki, thank you. 
actually I have two. Okay, very good, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> how how can I order your products? How can I? Order. Ah, oh, how can I order your products? Very good question, yes. yes. Okay, and the, and the second one, one is, do you have home service? Or no oh. sé cómo se dice eso. Like delivery? <laughs> Like the yes, yes. delivery. <laughs> yes, okay. Very it's good. Friday. It's Friday. I know, totally. I agree with you. Thank you. <laughs> Very Yo good. Yo otra con delivery. delivery. <laughs> A ver, Damari. Uh -huh. The company has home delivery. Okay, also, you can say that. Very good. Um, Damari, do you have another question, Damari, or only that one? Um, How many brooches does the company have? How many? No sé si está bien. How many branches? De eso de branches o como branches. Branches, sí, sí, sí. Está bien. Okay. Yes, how many branches? All right, very good. Okay. How very many nice. branches does the company have? Very nice, Damari. Very nice question. A ver, ¿quién más tiene pregunta ahí que podamos compartir? Sí. Excellent. Ah, me atrevo, me atrevo. Ah. Are you the assistant manager? Wow, very nice. Uh, I like it. Uh -huh. esta no, esta no sé si estará correcta. What is your boss boss name or boss? No. Boss is, what, what is your boss's name? Yes, very good, Laura. Nice. Okay. okay, very good. Someone else? I don't know. Creo que un compañero iba a hablar. I can't remember who. Someone else that has a question? Me. Okay, yeah, what very expensive good. is your produce? Tell me again. What expensive is your product? Mm, I think it's how. How expensive is your product? How expensive? All right, yes, it's better and with the how. Second uh -huh. one. Yes, go ahead. Uh, what size do you have? Available. Available. Very good. And excellent. Very nice. Uh huh. Someone else to share sentences or questions. Better said. Any other question, Mari? Do you have your question ready? And me, which other country do you have more branches? Ah, in which other countries do you, wow, very good, Jenny. In which other countries do you have more branches? I like that one, very good. Do you have another question, Jenny? Se le fue el audio, Jenny, apagó el micrófono. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it says, do they all have the same name? Ah, very nice, excellent, Jenny. Very good questions, guys, very nice. Aha, Miss Mari, ¿qué pasó? Estamos esperando las cinco suyas. Ok, de último <risa> minuto me salió una. Ajá. <risa> um, who is the manager of the company? Excellent. Who's the manager of the company? Very good, Miss Mari. Very nice. Jasmine, I think you had a question. Thank you. Yes. All right. Uh, how many colors does in a cup? Okay, very good. Yes. All right, perfect. Okay, very nice questions, guys. Thank you. Okay, vamos. No se olvide de las preguntas, déjelas ahí. Si no ha terminado la segunda, trabaje en la segunda todavía. All right, y vamos a irnos a hacer esto que está aquí. Vamos a hacer dos actividades de una vez para aprovechar el tiempo en sus grupos. All right, la primera es con las preguntas que ustedes hicieron. Acuérdese que acá quedó donde Jack decía, they are, in, they are in Panama. Entonces, si yo estoy trabajando con Miss Mari por decir algo, ella me hace la pregunta. Por ejemplo, eh, ella diría, and uh, who is the manager of the company? Yo le digo, ah, the manager of the company is Michelle Hernández. Oh, y continúa con la otra pregunta y yo le doy respuesta. ¿Ok? Para terminarla con la, las preguntas que hizo Miss Mari. Y luego... Eh, nos quedamos otra vez donde dice they are in Panama y yo hago las preguntas nuevas que yo hice y Miss Mari me contesta. Okay? Entonces vamos a tener dos diferentes finales de la conversation. Esa es la first activity. Activity number two, I want you to do this. Exercise number four. It's a spare work. List three companies with branches 
in your country and the location of its headquarters. Piensa en cualquier empresa que usted conozca en El Salvador que tenga the company, que tenga branches y que ustedes sepan dónde están las headquarters. Three companies. Choripanes. Okay. <laughs> All right, very good. So let's think about this. Entonces, primero vamos a terminar the conversations with the new questions y luego we work on exercise four. Okay, guys? All right. Very good. Let okay, me see. Thank you, Ede. Very nice. Uh, let me see here. We have... Uh, yeah. I'm going to open up the groups right now. Deme un segundito. Okay. Let's go, guys. Diana, you can go now. Thank you. Thank you. Edith, ¿verdad? Ahorita no se puede ir a su grupo, a su grupo, ¿verdad? Um, hi, Miss um, Marie. Hola. Hi, hi Jerry. Hi, Miss Marie. Hi. All right. Are oh, you hello. Hi. I'm here. Okay. All right. Um, perdón que no había visto, pero ya vi. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sí. Okay. I work in a lot of problems with the internet, teacher. Por eso voy a tener un poco la cámara apagada. Vale, sí, no se preocupe, no se preocupe. Okay. All right. Yeah. Gracias. Y cualquier Des cosa, si se, si se desconecta, yo envío a Jenny a otro grupo a trabajar, oye. Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. Puede Pero, estar pendiente. Uh, okay. Ah, gracias. Otra vez, decime. Pero aquí estamos, que la con a mí, Jenny. Trabajamos. <laughs> okay, very good. 
Otra vez, decímela. How long have you been working here?
Tamis. Bellita, ¿cómo está? Hola, so sorry to be late. That's okay, Bellita, ¿qué me le pasó? ¿Viene el orden también ahora, no? No, no, no. Lo que pasa es que fíjense que la niña que está conmigo ayudándome Ajá. se quemó. Es una olla de presión. Pero, o sea, todo fue un milagro, en serio, fue un milagro. Gracias a Dios, no sé si logra ver. El techo, ah, no, no se ve por la luz. La cosa es que en el techo quedó la, o sea, se salió la comida, se quedó, pero gracias a Dios, o sea, ella solo le cayó en el brazo, no le en la cara ni nada. Y el niño, o sea, mi, mi hijo, el más chiquito, siempre anda con ella, vea. Sí. Y gracias a Dios lo había dejado a un lado, o sea, estaba sentadito recibiendo las clases y solo le alcanzó el brazo, pero gracias a Dios no fue tan grave. Yo pensé que había sido, o sea, terrible, ¿verdad? o la cara, no sé, pero no, gracias a Dios solo fue, y es que ella ya había dejado enfriando la, la olla para abrirla, pero todavía no estaba bien fría, entonces cuando la abrió le explotó. Entonces, lo, lo caliente le cayó. Entonces, una vergüenza horrible. Ay, no, porque pues sí, imagínese si hubiera sido grave. No, lo, yo la iba a llevar al hospital, pero le hablé a una amiga que es pediatra y que es dermatólogo. Y me dijo que lo recomendable es que si no tenía bombitas, que le pusiera decitín. No sé si conoce el decitín. No, no. Es la cremita que se le pone en los niños. Ajá, ajá. Escaldaduras. Uh -huh. Entonces es zinc, tiene esa ah, cosa. Ah, ok. Entonces le pus, eso le pusimos y le di acetaminofén, pero no puede hacer nada, o sea, no puede mover la mano, la tiene bien inflamada, o sea, quemada, quemada. Así que todo se me complicó y, y acabo de venir. Sí, pues. Pero gracias a Dios que el niño no, no estaba allí. No estaba cerca, cabal, porque si no, él también le hubiera caído. Y siempre anda donde ella anda, ahí anda. Así <risa> son. <risa> Entonces, cabal, eso fue a las 10 de la mañana. Imagínese yo en el trabajo, me tocó salir corriendo. Ah, no, horrible. Y lo yo peor que uno que siente que nunca clase. llega, vea, vea. Tuve que terminar las clases, solo medio me averigüé si el niño estaba bien y cómo estaba todo. O sea, era como... <risa> Pero está bien, o sea, pero no, ella estaba súper mal. Cuando vine la encontré, mal. Qué susto. Es que tiene 19 años. Sí, está chiquita. Entonces, su, papá, su mamá, vea, como... No le hemos dicho. Ay, no. <risa> no hayamos cómo decirle sí. a la mamá. Sí. Entonces yo le digo que, pues, sí, a ver cómo sigue mañana, pues no se quiere ir. Entonces me dice, no, mejor voy a esperar que me pase un poquito. <risa> a ver cómo no va. Sí, sí. Ay, no, pero sí fue un susto, pero de verdad que vi. Y le acababa de llamar, ¿no? Porque tenía un mal presentimiento bien, bien feo. Ah, de veras. Le empecé a sentir una angustia bien fea, pero como está lloviendo y todo, yo dije, le voy a llamar para ver cómo está. Y, y, y pasó después de eso. Ajá. Y colgamos y pasó. O sea, colgamos todavía y adiós, adiós, no, aquí estamos bien, tengan cuidado, que no sé. Sí, sí, adiós, adiós. Y pasó. Cabal, como los 10 minutos me empieza a marcar y yo no le podía contestar. Hasta que le logré contestar, así que, ay, me disculpa, mis. No, no de verdad. tranquila. Sí, mire, que, sí, es que los accidentes pasan súper así, en un abrir y cerrar de ojos, la verdad. Sí, sí. Ay, la cara, a mí la cara me preocupaba. El rostro, pues, tan delicado, claro. los ojos. Los ojos. No, sé. sí. no, no. Pero ya, gracias a Dios, ahorita ya, ya estamos aquí. Sí. Peita, solo le voy a cambiar nombre, hoy. <risa> Ay, perdón, que ni eso. Se lo Ahí está el BB, vea, ya vi. <risa> de lo que se decía la vez pasada. Es que yo soy K5 BB. Sí. <risa> 
Ay, no, es que susto. ¿Y por qué tarea vamos ya? Por las cinco teníamos que terminar ayer. Ayer, o sea, hoy las seis. Las seis, ajá. Vaya, bien. Ah, Ahorita vale. de todas maneras voy a sacar a los demás porque ya han de haber terminado. Oye. Ok. All right, guys. Hi, Mari. <laughs> Hi. All right. Finish, Mari, Jenny. Yes, you finished everything. Excellent. Very good. Yeah, so so. Okay, Roxana, did you finish? Yeah. All right. Perfect. Very good. Okay, guys. Let's see. So we have here Miss Damari. Aha, uh -huh. Miss Damari, did you finish? A ver. Uh, let's talk about this. Um, Yes. Thank you, Damari. Damari, who did you work with? With Eder. Okay, all right. So, Damari, maybe you can read the question and then Eder can give me the answer or can tell us the answer of the question that you asked them. Okay. Okay. Um, how many branches does the company have? The company has 10 branches. Okay. Uh, has the company home delivery? Yes, the company has delivery. Ah, all right, very good. Okay, very good answers and very good questions. All right, very good. Uh, uh, let me see, Laurita, who did you work with? With Michelle and Christian. Okay, all right, so what were, um, how did you guys finish up the conversation, Laura? Perdón, no, no le escuché bien. How, um, tell us how you finished the conversation. How did you finish it? Ah, the question and the, and the answer. Uh -huh, and the answers. Uh -huh. I don't know if okay. Christian or, or the other classmate answered the questions that you asked. To Michelle, uh, what is your boss's name? Oh. Oh, oh, creo que esa no la noté. Esa fue la primera, ¿verdad? Yeah. <risa> Decime la otra, Laurita. Ay, perdóname. Ayude. Assistant manager. <risa> eh, yes, I am. Yes, assistant of the company. Oh, my goodness, Michelle. You're the assistant manager. <risa> Very nice. Okay. 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 Uh, uh -huh. Christian, what is your boss's name? Aló, se me fue. No, Christian is there. Ahí está, ya listo. Vaya, este, ¿cómo fue? What is your boss's name? Boss's name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, boss's name. Ahorita, no. According okay. to the conversation, ah, Laurita, is, uh, the, your boss's name, all right. Yeah. Okay, yes. perfect, thank you. All right, guys, let's see. Chiki, can you tell me one company, the branch and the headquarters of the company that you guys came up with? Night store. Uh-huh. Has four branches and okay. its headquarters is in Colonia La Mascota. Ah, all right, very good. Okay. I don't know, I don't know the company. <laughs> it's idea for Charlie. <laughs> ah, it's Charlie's idea. Ah, what kind of company Charlie's is that, idea. Charlie? Pero le apuesto que alguno lo conoce, al menos que solo yo sea el único. Espero que el nombre. What, what, what does the company do, or what does it manufacture? Eh, this is a um, toy store. A what? Toy store. Ah, okay. And, and, and give. Okay. Ah. This is this, this is. And the other the other, the other company we know uh -huh. is Coplaza. 
Okay. It has eight branches. Oh, okay. And, and the headquarters is in San Salvador. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you. Let's see. I don't know if Edith Lorena, did you have, did you come up with any of the company's branches and headquarters with your partner? Iba conmigo, teacher, pero me dijo que se me estaba de oyente. Okay. All right. Very good. Uh, Jasmine, did you, were you able to do anything, Jas? By yourself? <laughs> Which one? Uh, el Rosario. Okay. The company, El Rosario. Uh -huh. Branches, uh, Periplaza Copa, uh, Headquarters, Boulevard, Universitario San Salvador. All right, very good. Okay, very nice. Let's see, anybody else has a different company that you guys thought about? Any companies and the branches and the headquarters that you may know? Uh, the company Adopt. Ah, very good. Okay. The branches in the 14 department. Okay, yeah, 14 departamentos. And, uh -huh. uh, and the headquarters in San Salvador. Okay. All and, right. Uh -huh. And the other super selectos. Okay, very good. Yes. The branches in, in 14 department. Uh huh. And the headquarter is um in the Avenue Olympic. Uh huh. The Olympic Avenue. Salvador. Yes, very good. Uh huh. I think there are like a hundred branches of super selectos or more. Like all like um El Salvador wise. Yeah. Right, yeah, pretty much. Okay, very good. Um, anything else? Any other um companies that you guys thought about? Pollo Campero. Ah, Laurita, very good. Uh -huh. How many branches, but, but Laurita? Many, many, many branches. Oh, <laughs> El Salvador. Okay. Uh, and the headquarter, I think it's in San Salvador. Yeah, I believe so. All right, what about Dollar City? How many branches? Anybody know how many branches in Dollar City? No countable. <laughs> Uncountable. <laughs> All right, very good. Yes. All right. Do you know the headquarters of Dollar City? No. Taller, taller, taller el chile. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I don't know the headquarters of Dollar City, but I guess they're probably in San Salvador. All right, the ones that are here. All right, guys, very good, thank you. Let's go back here. In a couple of minutes, I'm gonna take the attendance. We're gonna do page 20 right now. It says, match the product or service to the corresponding industry type. Check answers with a partner. So here we have the company and we have the industry, all right? So this is what we're going to do. You guys are gonna go back and you're going to do the matching for this, all right, for the uh, comp the product, the service, and the industry it belongs to. And then you're going to do number six, where it says, write a sentence to describe the expertise. Remember that expertise is the experience and the industrial classification of the business below. Mira el primer ejemplo dice, refresh and, and live, all right, or leave, sorry. A refresh and live, we distribute soft drinks. We are in the beverage industry. Entonces van a decir, ¿qué hacen y a cuál industria pertenecen? All right, siguiendo el ejemplo que está aquí arriba, all right. Pero antes de irnos, vamos a hacer la, voy a pasar la asistencia de la segunda hora. All right, Ada Carolina, viuda de Ruano. Adilio Hernández Polanco, Arely del Carmen Cortés de Peña. Present. Carlos Mauricio Cabrera Moreno. Present. Cristian Alberto Jovel Cantor. Present. Edgar Edenilson Meléndez Rivera. Present. 
Edith Lorena, yes. Uh, Martínez de Sandoval, gracias, Edith. Ercilia Damari Quintero Alvarado. Present. Francisco Antonio Renderos. Gloria Dayana Álvarez de Morales. Present. Gloria Maribel Mazariego de Morales. Present. Jenny Marisol Escobar Hernández. Present. Katherine Michelle Mejía Hernández. Present. Laura Noemí Rivas Rivas. Present. María José Alfaro de Hernández. Roxana Elizabeth Alcántara de Roldán. Present. Jasmine Jamilet, thank you. Jasmine Jamilet Pacheco de Meléndez. Present. Thank you. And Yolanda Beatriz Angulo de Vielma. Present. Thank you. All right, guys. So let's go back here to uh, this part of the book. Okay, I want you to work on this right now. Eh, uh, let me see. Just la voy a mover a otro grupo because Miss Edith cannot be working right now, okay? Okay. Thank you. All right, guys. The rest of you, you're in the same groups as before. All right, Laurita, it's okay.
Eddie, did you finish? The first one, yes. The number, the number five. The exercise, okay. exercise number five. And the second one, the exercise six, uh, only two. Okay, all right, that's fine. How many sentences were there, Eddie? Four, right? Yes, four. Okay, okay, so you did half of it, that's fine, thank you. All right, what about the Mari and Laurita? Did you guys finish? No? Yes, yes? No. no? Yes, no. we finished. Okay, Shiki and Charlie, you finished? Yes. Perfect, very good. What about Roxana's group? Did you finish? Yes, that uh, is so <laughs> okay all right very Last good that's, okay that's okay don't worry about that let's see let's work on it right now guys please because i want to move on with the simple past um topic all right here number one it says banks all right we already have that one the finance industry what about soft drinks The beverage industry, the beverage. Industry, yes, the beverage industry, very good. What about guided tours? The tourism industry. The tourism industry, very good. Um, cardboard boxes? The packaging industry. The packaging industry, very good, okay. Uh, buildings. The construction industry. Construction industry. All right, let me see where it is. Yes, okay. Uh, mobile phones. The telecommunication uh, industry. industry. Okay, the telecommunication <laughs> industry. Very good. Okay. Uh, me uh, medicine. The pharmaceutical industry. The pharmaceutical industry, the car components. Aha, Beita, le escucho. <laughs> the automotive. Yes. Autom automotive. The automobile, the automobile Auto industry. Uh -huh. Automobile industry. Yes, very good. Okay, what about the hair salon services? The beauty and personal care industry. Excellent, very good. Yes, the beauty and personal care industry. And clothes. The textile industry. The textile, the textile, textile. industry. Yes, <laughs> the textile industry. That's okay, very good. Thank you. All right, then we had this one, this exercise here, exercise six. Fix and care. Let's see. Um, Eve, what do you have for that one, Eve? Boy, boy. See. The second. Um, fix and care. Uh huh. Fix and care. Yes. Okay. Uh, fix and care distribute a uh, beauty products. We are in the care industry. Oh, very good, nice. All right. What about Jenny? Enjoy on travel. Um, I'm sorry, Miss. Not finish this. Ah, okay. Nothing of this uh, one. No, no, any of the sentences? Oh, is us uh, only working in the fixing curve. Uh -huh. Ah, okay, all right, okay, that's fine. All right, that's okay. Laurita, do you have anything else? Enjoy and travel, business bank, uh, or the sun resort? Um, enjoy and travel. Uh, okay. to enjoy and travel. We provide the best benefits to the tourist industry. Oh, the tourism industry. Okay, very nice. Chiki, do you have any of the other ones? The Sun Resort or Business Bank? I have all of them. Excuse me, very nice. 
<laughs> what do you want? All of Which them. one do you want? I all of them, okay. All of them, all right? But just make sure that Charlie reads um, some sentences too. Okay, let me read the last two. Business bank. Okay. At business bank, we, we administrate your money. We are in finance industry. Excellent, guys. Very good, Mira. You, you, you guys are really good at this. You know, last time <laughs> we were with the mission, man. Right? The mission de todas las empresas la vez pasada, they were pretty cool. Uh -huh. And the other okay. one? And the Sun Resort. At the Sun Resort, we give you a place to rest. <laughs> and we are in the tourism industry. Excellent. Very nice. All right. A ver, Charlie, if for um, Fix and Care? Or in oh, okay. Uh -huh. And Fix and Care, we are in charge, in charge of your car. We are in the automobile, automobile, uh -huh. automobile industry. Automobile industry, very good. Wow. Uh, and the next one in Enjoy and Travel, mm -hmm. we organize organize uh -huh. your next adventure. Yeah. We are yeah. in tourist industry. Wow, very good. Impressive, guys. Very good. Thank you. Alguien más que quiera compartir sus sentences que lograron hacer? You guys are very quiet tonight. Very good. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's go back here. Let's go on to page 21. Eh, de hecho, esto es presente simple. No es que nos vayamos a detener mucho en ello porque obviamente lo hemos visto enough, ¿ok? Y necesito llegar a el pasado porque si nos vamos a detener un poquito allí, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí, por eso vamos... Eh, avanzando con esto porque estas son cosas que ya hemos visto. So let's go to page 21. It says I will be able to introduce personnel. ¿Se acuerda que vimos personnel and personal? All right. Introduce personnel providing information about their position. All right. So here we have uh, Miss Tate and Mr. Young. All right. So let me see here. Chiki, do you want to be Miss Tate? All right. And maybe. Miss Michelle Mistake. Tate. I'm sorry. That's okay. And then Michelle, can you be Mr. Young, please? Okay. Hel Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. Young? Michelle. Michelle. Please. Perdón, mi, no la escuché. Michelle, you're Mr. Perdón, Young. Perdón. Ah, ok. Um, uh, yes, I am. <laughs> Very good, Michelle. <laughs> I am Mrs. State. I am the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Tati. Let's meet. Introduce the staff is Mario, he is the branch manager, and this is Leo. Excellent. Ahí hay un Mario, Miss. Sí, hay un Mario y hay un Leo. <laughs> yo, hago, yo voy a ser Mario y Leo. Eh. Okay. Welcome. Okay, welcome. welcome. Nice to ah, okay, nice to thank you, Charlie. Too. Thank you, thank you. Ajá, continúe, Charlie. Welcome, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. Very good. Nice to meet you. Nice to you. I'm in charge of the kitchen stuff. Great, ah, uh, Mr. Jung, what does the girl over there do? Michelle. Great, <laughs> oh, <laughs> my Jung, what do is the no, girl ya lo over there? Eso ya lo leyó Chiqui. La última, ah, la, la última, la última. 
She she needs a she in charge of portion. No sé cómo se dice la última palabra. She's Nisa, she's in charge of purchases. Ah, ok. What did it purchases? Compras. Oh, thank you, thank you. All right, very good. All right, very good. So it says, hey, ok, let's see. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. Young? Yes, I am. I'm Miss State. I'm the trainer. All right, nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss State. Let me introduce the staff. All right, acuérdense que staff era sinónimo de personnel que vimos ayer. This is Mario, he's the branch manager, and this is Leo. Welcome, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm in charge of the kitchen stuff. Great. Ah, uh, Mr. Young, what does the girl over there do? She's Nisa, she's in charge of purchases. All right. Entonces, aquí es presente simple nada más como para darle o recordar el presente simple un ratito antes de empezar con el simple past, all right? Now, what I want you to pay attention here is this. In number four, veamos el number four antes de ser el number three. Number four says use personnel with plural verbs. For example, all personnel are trained to provide first aid. The personnel at the plant are certified. Ok, entonces usamos el personnel, es plural. Entonces vamos a usar, es como que fuera they. Entonces vamos a usar are. But when you use a staff, all right, use a staff followed by a singular or a plural verb. The staff work or works 40 hours a week. Our kitchen staff follow or follows the Ministry of Health regulations. Ok. Now, that's like something that I just wanted you to pay attention to. And then let's go back to number three. Ahorita, para, para hacer este de acá, for number three, nos vamos a quedar acá, no nos vamos a ir a los grupos. I want you to do this. Complete the questions, then write the answers. All right? Complete esas, horas, esas preguntas que están ahí. Y obviamente se tiene que basar en la conversation. Make the question and come up with the answer. ¿Ok? Trabajamos eso individual. Me avisan cuando terminan y revisamos.
finished. What about the rest? Is everybody finished? Finish. All right, give me a second, guys. All right, very good, sorry guys, let's see. So here we have, I'm gonna share the book here. Here we go. All right, so we have number one, Cheeky. What do you have for number one? What does Mario do? Mm -hmm. What's the answer? He's the branch manager. All right, very good. All right, um, Damari, what do you have for number two? Haciéndole estaba. Solo la respuesta puse, pero es que no sé cómo. What do you, what do you, no sé, mis. <laughs> A ver, ¿quién tiene esa? Ede, or Charlie, or Jenny. What do you do, Leo? Ajá, uh -huh. what do you do, Leo? All right. I'm in charge. Of the kitchen the staff. Kitchen staff. The kitchen staff. Very good. Okay. And number three. Who has number three? What does Nisa do? Mm -hmm. He's in charge of the purchases. He or she? She's. Mm -hmm. She's in charge She's of purchases. Charge. Mm -hmm. Very good, Laurita. Very nice, guys. Thank you. All right, so remember this is simple present. All right, so here, lo tenemos aquí abajo on page 22, how to use information questions. Eso es con lo ah, que se recuerde, lo simple present, las WH questions, all right? So here we have, for example, what do you do? What department do you supervise? What branch does she manage? Where does your company manufacture? What unit do you oversee? All right. And what do you report? I'm sorry, who do you report to? All right. So we have those WH questions. And remember that because we have does in the case, for example, of number three and number four, we don't need any S on the verbs because we're using does. All right. It's just simple present. You should know this by now. All right, so it's no big deal. Terminemos ese espacio que está aquí abajo donde dice to ask information questions in the simple present tense. Begin with a WH phrase or word or subject. ¿Qué vamos a empezar? ¿Qué vamos a usar primero? ¿Una WH word o vamos a empezar con un subject? WH phrase. Yes, right. WH phrase or word, right? Very good. Followed by what? Do, does, or the subject? Do, does. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Plus the verb or subject? Verb. Are you sure? No, subject. Subject, yes. And finally, Add the what? Base form or S or ES form? Base form. Base form. Very good. Okay, excellent. Okay. All right, guys. So I just want you to do this. All right. Aquí tenemos que hacer la WH question. All right based on the um, answer. For example, number one says, Marta manages the sales department. The question is, what department does Marta manage? All right, para que la respuesta nos dé 
eh, tenemos que entender la respuesta y luego basar esa pregunta en lo que ya tenemos ahí. All right, entonces vamos a hacer eh, number two, three, four, five, and six. Tenemos la respuesta, usted tiene que hacer la question, ¿ok? Para que no nos cueste un poquito, vámonos a los grupos en unos, no sé, 10 minutos por mucho regresamos, lo vemos y empezamos con la introducción del pasado que necesito empezar con eso porque es tema nuevo and you guys need help with that a little bit, ¿ok? Vámonos ahí. Oops. Así se ayudan para hacer las preguntas. Creo que voy a rehacer grupos ahora. ¿Qué estoy haciendo? Estoy compartiendo. <laughs> Oops, it's Friday. It's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. Vamos a rehacer grupos ahorita. Permítame de un segundo. All right, guys, vámonos todos y todas. Michelle, ya se puede ir a su grupo, Michelle.
All right, let's see. Let's check these questions. All right, number one, the answer is I supervise the maintenance department. What is the question? What department do you supervise? Okay. Uh, another possibility? I have the same, the same the one. Same? All right. Anybody else has it differently? No sé si está correcta, Miss, pero who do you supervise in the company? Is correct? Podría, fíjese, interesante, la, Laurita. Wow, Laurita. Very Oye, nice. Yo. I know, eh? Sí, fíjese <laughs> que podría. Who do, you su uh -huh. who do you supervise? I supervise the maintenance department. Podría ser, o oh, también, en lugar de what, we can say which. All right, which department do you supervise? I supervise the maintenance department. Entonces podemos jugar con tres, digamos. Very good. Number three, Claudio oversees the branch in Ilopango. What could be the possible question? Where does Claudio branch oversee? Hmm. No. Lo que pasa es que como la respuesta a Jenny empieza con Claudio. Ah. Um, where, where does Claudio oversees? Mm -mm. What branch does Claudio oversee? Es que todas, ajá, todas las están tirando con where or what, ¿verdad? Pero... Mm -hmm. Teacher, la, con, con Charlie, is, who does oh. oversee uh -huh. the branch in Ilopango? Uh -huh. Who does oversee the branch in Ilopango? Claudio. Claudio, Claudio oversees the branch in uh -huh. Ilopango. Yes. I would go with who more than... Says who, who what? Um, who does... Who, who does oversee the branch in Ilopango? Or who oversees the branch in Ilopango? Uh -huh. All right, what about number four? The assemblers report to the supervisor. Who do the assemblers report to? Excellent, who do the assemblers report to? The assemblers report to the supervisor. Wow, guys, excellent. Number five, we manufacture in Santa Ana plant. Where, where does your company, uh, where, where, da, where does manufacture your company? Iba, me, iba mejor con la otra, Charlie. Tratemos de hacerlo otra vez. Where does? Uh -huh. Where does? Where does? Uh huh. Ahí lo puse donde no era. Sorry. Where does the manufacture? Uh, Al revés. No, no, no. Espérame, espérame, espérame. We the ma ah, pero es que decimos we ah. manufacture, ¿verdad? Correcto. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Entonces sería where, where see. Where, where do. Ajá, uh -huh. where do. Uh, where where do. do we manufacture? Excellent, yes. Where do we manu oh. manufacture? Mm, ¿Sabe qué podríamos semana. jugar con el we? Es como que uh, nos, nos autocuestionamos. O podríamos decir where do you manufacture? El you, acuérdese que el you es plural, ¿verdad? Entonces decimos nosotros manufacturamos o hacemos. Ajá, uh -huh. so we can say where do where do you or where do we manufacture? We manufacture in Santa Ana plant. Mm -hmm. And number six, Douglas trains the new staff. What does he do? Ah, podría ser. Sí. Wow, very nice. Otra posibilidad. What does Douglas do? También otra. Otra possibility? 
Who, uh -huh. who, 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 yeah. Ah, pero no, no, yo no ocupo ningún do ni nada, entonces ahí no. por eso me frené. Ajá, uh -huh. yo la vi, <laughs> frenada. <laughs> who, uh -huh. who, who trains the new, who trains the new stuff? Yeah, who trains the new stuff? Douglas, Douglas trains the new stuff. All right, okay, very good guys, let's see. Solo déjeme ver algo aquí. Ok, voy a dejar de compartir, pero antes, si se fija acá en la página 23, empieza el pasado, ok. De hecho, hemos ido ahora como un poco rápido porque el presente simple ya lo podemos, y ustedes me lo acaban de demostrar súper bien haciendo estas preguntas, all right, porque eran simple present. That's very good. Entonces, no nos íbamos a detener mucho en eso porque sí me urge llegar al pasado y obviamente ahorita vamos a hacer una super short presentation or introduction of the simple past. Y ya el lunes nos quedamos toda la semana hablando del simple past, ¿ok? Now, eh, yo sé que eh, Mari, si en caso está por ahí todavía, ahí, eh, ahí, ahí nos acompaña, activo. <risa> ya se ve nada, Mari. No, yo sé que ahí está, Mari, gracias. Igual Ede, ¿verdad? Ede, por cuestiones de, de inter, all right, and I guess Jasmine is with the baby right now. A ver, veamos. Tenemos el simple pass. Ahorita cierra el manual si quiere. Ahorita por los últimos nueve minutos que falta, cierra ese manual. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver esto como una muy short presentation, introduction of simple past. ¿Ok? Cuando hablamos del simple past, vamos a hablar del structure. Vamos a hablar del affirmative, negative questions. Regular and irregular, all right? De repente puede ser que se vea mucho, pero es como lo mismo que el, pas el presente simple. Acuérdense que el presente simple vimos lo afirmativo, negativo y pregunta, ¿ok? Ahora, antes de meternos a todo esto, les voy a recordar, porque yo sé que muchos lo saben y muchas. In simple past, there are two types of verbs, ¿ok? Tenemos el, los regular verbs y los irregular verbs, ¿ok? Vamos a jugar con esas dos familias, le llamo yo, ¿ok? La familia de los verbos regulares y la familia de los verbos irregulares, ¿ok? Los regular verbs, todos, todos los verbos regulares terminan con ed. Todos, ¿all right? Por eso se llaman regulares, porque es como constante, ¿ok? Los verbos irregulares, they change, usually, completamente, ¿ok? Si se fija, tenemos go y pasó a went, nada que ver. See, saw, sleep, slept, ¿ok? Mientras que los de arriba decimos play y tenemos ed, watch y lo terminamos con ed, y study y lo terminamos en este caso con ied, porque aplica la misma regla del presente. Si usted eh, termina el verbo con Y y antes del Y va una consonante, quítele la Y y agréguele IED. All right? Si esa regla usted ya se la puede, no va a tener ningún problema en esto porque es lo mismo. All right? Ahora, eh, ahora que estamos eh, presentando el pasado y lunes, si sí, el lunes, tal vez a un martes, vamos a trabajar con la pronunciación de los verbos regulares. Que no es que cueste, y muchas yo sé que se lo saben, pero si sí es necesario recalcar. Y Charlie está así como, que ¿De qué está hablando, Tiche? ¿Verdad? Entonces, lo difícil, voy a decir difícil entre comillas, dejo de compartir un segundito. Lo difícil de los verbos regulares es su pronunciación. No su escritura, porque todos terminan con ed. Todos, los regulares. All right? Otra ventaja del pasado simple es que va a ser el mismo verbo para todas las personas. Aquí no va a cambiar si es para he, para she, para it. No, es el mismo para todos y todas. ¿Okay? Entonces no va a cambiar. Ahora, entonces, ¿de qué está hablando la teacher cuando la pronunciación? ¿Cómo fue? Ah, ok. 
Eso es lo que va a pasar. Eso se lo voy a enseñar otra vez el lunes, no se preocupe. Ahorita estamos como, como viendo un poquito, ¿ok? Este cuadrito, este cuadrito que tenemos aquí es muy importante. All right? Entonces vamos a, hay tres pronunciaciones, todas haciendo la pronunciación en los verbos regulares. Hay tres sonidos. Está el id, el t y el d. All right? No es la consonante en sí, es el sonido de esa consonante el fonema que está dentro de esos corchetes. All right, that's phonetics. All right, and some of you know, like Miss Chiqui, I'm sure this is not new for you. Miss Jenny, this is not new for you. Miss Mari, I know this is not new for you. Okay, you know this because this is like pronunciation. All right, ahora, vamos a ver. Si su verbo, mire aquí el primero, donde dice ed, no es ed, es ed. All right, cuando su verbo, dejo de, de, de compartir aquí. Cuando el verbo en presente termine con T o con D, cuando usted lo diga en pasado, por ejemplo, need, yo necesito agua, I need water, ahorita, pero yo necesité agua o yo necesitaba agua hace 10 minutos, ¿ok? Entonces usted va a decir, I needed water, ¿all right? La pronunciación es it, I needed water. Ah, yo quería una pupusa. I wanted a pupusa. All right, wanted. Es como la forma larga. Así como lo escribo con ed, es más o menos la pronunciación, lo pronuncio así. All right. Pero luego tenemos los verbos. Regreso al cuadrito. Tenemos estos verbos aquí. All right. Si los verbos en presente... Termine. Digo en presente porque en pasado todos en su escritura van a terminar con ed. Entonces, tenemos que regresar al presente. Si su verbo termina con p, k, f, g, h, s, h, c, h, double s, c, and x, su pronunciación va a sonar t. ¿Ok? No es t, ¿verdad? No es la letra, es el sonido. St. All right? Entonces, yo no voy a decir helped. All right, ojo con eso. Yo voy a decir helped. No voy a decir looked. Voy a decir looked. Sniffed. Laughed. Washed. Watched. Kissed. Danced. And fixed. All right. ¿Oyen ese t al final? ¿O no lo oyen? Díganme que si lo oyen. Yes. 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 Uh -huh. Very good. Ok. A ver, entonces, tenemos que recordar cómo o con qué terminación termina, valga la redundancia, el verbo y decir, ah, bueno, esta pronunciación va a sonar t al final. All right. Hágame un favor. Póngase sus deditos aquí, despacito, no se vaya a hacer nada malo. All right. Haga el, haga el sonido. Ay, no, chiqui, no, please. This is not passive voice, chiqui. All right. All right. Es que hagamos, viernes. Sí, yo sé, yo sé. Hagamos esto. T, 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 t. Ok. Vibra. ¿Sienten que vibra algo aquí o no vibra? Cuando usted dice t, 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 vibra. No le tiene que vibrar, no tiene que vibrar nada. Si yo hago solo el sonido, t, 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 no vibra. Ah, uh ah. -uh. right. Haga este otro sonido. El sonido de la, de la D. D, D. Ponga su manita aquí y haga D, 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 D. Vibra. Yes. Yes. Ah, muy bien. Entonces, al T. Sound, la primera que hicimos, no vibra, a esa le llamamos voiceless. Quiere decir que no tiene sonido, que no tiene vibración. Y la que suena, t, la que, perdón, la d, 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 le llamamos voice, que sí tiene sonido o que sí tiene vibración. Entonces, otra vez regresamos al cuadrito, ya casi terminando aquí. Estos verbos que están con eh, el sonido, el fonema d, tienen que terminar en estas. L, N, R, G, V, S, Z, 
B and M. Cuando la diga, usted va a decir cold y el final del verbo va a vibrar. Cold, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, amazed, rubbed, claimed. La mayoría, y con esto nos despedimos, la mayoría de los verbos regulares, su pronunciación es con el ponema D. All right, con este último. Si se fija, el menos es con el ED o el ID, ¿verdad? El solo son dos, T and D, mientras que en estas dos son más. Y a esta le agregamos los verbos que suenan como vocal. También su pronunciación va a ser con D. Followed. Follow suena como que fuera una U. Followed. Ella me siguió, Damari me siguió. She followed me. Followed. ¿Ok? Entonces, los dejo descansar. All right. Seguimos el lunes, obviamente, eh, con todo esto de la pronunciación de los verbos regulares. Y vamos a hacer como mucha práctica. All right. Para que lo podamos pronunciar bien bonito. ¿Ok? Yes. Así es que hoy terminamos la actividad, la tarea 6. ¿Cierto? Sí, ¿verdad? ¿Seis? Y ya para quedar tranquilos con la unidad 1, all right, que terminamos ayer, y yo los veo el lunes de regreso. Ede, no sé si tiene, se puede quedar un ratito, hoy le toca a usted, Ede, lo siento. Y, y. Hoy quizás no, Miss. All right, ya, yeah, yo sé, yo sabía. <ríe> no se preocupe. All right, vaya a ver a Zoe. All right, that's fine. And help Jasmine, okay? Very good. Tomo la última asistencia. Ada Carolina Campos, Viuda de Ruano. Adilio Hernández Polanco. Arely del Carmen Cortés de Peña. Present. Carlos Mauricio Cabrera Moreno. Present. Cristian Alberto Jovel Cantor. Edgar Edenilson Meléndez Rivera. Edith Present. Lorena, thank you. Edith Lorena Martínez de Sandoval. Ercilia Damari Quintero Alvarado. Present. Francisco Antonio Renderos. Gloria Dayana Álvarez de Morales. Present. Gloria Maribel Mazariego de Morales. Present. Jenny Marisol Escobar Hernández. Present. Catherine Michelle Mejía Hernández. Present. Laura Noemí Rivas Rivas. Present. María José Alfaro de Hernández, Roxana Elizabeth Alcántara de Roldán, Present. Jasmine Jamilet Pacheco de Meléndez y Yolanda Beatriz Angulo de Piedra. All right, guys, descansen. I'll see you next week. All right, sigan avanzando con la plataforma de llegar a la tarea número 6. All right, tengan un lindo fin de semana. Tengan cuidado con la lluvia. All right, porque dicen que va a seguir lloviendo. All right, I'll see you Monday, guys. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Okay. bye bye, Mari. Bye, Ede. Bye, Diana. Bye, 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 bye.